Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, another video. Um, what I'm doing is, I got these little buttons that I bought at, a, at an op shop. I love op shops, you can find all kinds of art things in there for art and craft. So it was only a couple of dollars and I was so excited to you know, be able to do something with them. And all I do is I just pop them they've just been glued onto this little um, al aluminium whatever it is it's just been glued on there so they pop off really easy and then I thought I might just re arrange them on the, on my board and see if I can pour something around there and then I get left with a whole heap of these which I thought would look quite cute if I have them glued or even you know once you have the resin on you can just wait for it to get a bit tacky and a bit sticky and then you can pop them on arrange them and then put a little color in each and they could look like a tiny little flower so I'm getting a little bit you know feminine with the flowers and the pearls and <clears throat> you know gems and all kinds of things so, you know you go through these things in life so I'm not sure how I'm gonna arrange this I was thinking of just going randomly and saying how I can just um, do it just popping in one next to the other oh that one doesn't want to stick they already have that the sticky bit on them so they're sticking down real easy and uh, you know there's so many clever people out there that will look at this and think yes I can do something different you know I can use this idea and do something else and make it better that's um, what it's all about I'm happy when people do that so yeah just going randomly round and round and round like so so once resin um, goes in between them it'll lock them in even if they don't stick to the board uh, they will stick once uh, once resin uh, locks them into place so you can even do like yin and yang if you want uh, with the beads or you can have them all arranged in in the middle like a little cluster and then a bit and build uh, like a shell around them actually that's not a bad idea i wonder if i can do that um, and then i have all these little drip drop drip drops from from the canvases and boards and things and they look quite cute as well to arrange and create something really cool some really really pretty um skins look at that it's gorgeous gorgeous I don't like wasting them you know I'm not a hoarder or anything but look at that it's like a bit of a whale <laughs> nice golden whale so hmm, interesting so I'm just gonna play with this and I'll come back guys and uh, hopefully by then I'll have an idea of what to do sometimes um, actually not sometimes every time it's best to just uh, relax when you're doing things like this and just let um, the design build itself, you know, let it lead you to where it wants to go and not think too much about how you want it to, to turn out. So I think maybe find a couple of nicer ones and just do them like so. Just around that edge there, like so. Spread them around a bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. Maybe just put a couple over here and maybe one in here. And a couple here. Wow, that's really cute. Okay, let's mix some resin and um, get back. See what happens. Okay, so my resin has been mixed. Now I have uh, what I have here is I have four. <coughs> 
excuse me, four beautiful pigment powders. I will bring them closer. Hopefully, I won't drop them. Beautiful earthy colours. I want some kind of old fashioned colours. So I've got a, a mauve, a mauve, and then I've got a, a, like an old fashioned pink, and um, oh, this is like a chocolate, a chocolate brown, and a gold. So that's all I'm going to use here. And I'm just going to put them back on my tray so I don't make a mess. Try to be tidy and. In we go. Firstly, just a little bit of resin. Powders are super easy to mix. You just mix them in a paste first. And you don't need to mix them. I heard somewhere that you mix it with part A and then store it somewhere in a container or a jar. It's, it's mixing lovely. Look at that. There's, um, there's no need for that because what are the odds of you using that color again? And if you store it for uh, longer than it's supposed to, it'll go off on you, you know, because there's no preservatives in there and um, it will spoil. So then you waste your pigment and you waste your part A of your resin, which um, doesn't make sense to me to do it that way. Um, I don't know why you would, and you, you're not going to get a paste anyway. You're going to get, oh, you're going to get a paste-ish kind of um, um, outcome, but this is good enough. So now I've got that mixed, I can add some more of my, my resin straight in there. So for all of you who have never used pigment powders before, this is how you do it so I've just added a little bit more resin in there and powders are quite forgiving because you can the 10% um, ratio doesn't really apply so you can you can pretty much put extra in there if you want a more opaque color and if you want it more transparent then you put more resin in it so it tones it down okay so that's done just make sure that it's all mixed in. This pigment mixes very, very well. And it's, um, that's such a gorgeous color. I don't know if you can see that when I swirl it, that nice shimmer. It doesn't get any easier than this. Obviously, if you already have pastes that you've purchased and you have, just, um, you know, obviously that's going to be easier because you just scoop it and pop it in your, in your resin. But if you want to try working with with pastes with um, pigments pigment powders don't be uh, worried too much because they're not uh, they're not that scary do be careful though that you wear a, a mask of some kind to so you're not breathing in all the little particles you have your place ventilated you have your window open, you know, a fan going. If you've got an exhaust fan, fan, that's even better. So that's that one. That's that beautiful, gorgeous chocolate. And now we're going to do the, this old-fashioned gold, old-fashioned uh, rose. Just a little bit of this first. Yes, so... You just always have it away from your face when you're stirring, you know. You don't want to breathe in any of this stuff. And soon enough, it'll all, the resin will pick it up and then you, you're fine. Okay, so that's that one. Also, if you're doing that thing with the putting part A in your powder and storing it, um, I, I'm not sure how that would work with your part B when you mix up your your resin and then you know it just it doesn't make sense to me to, to do it that way some resins are very very sensitive and they will um, 
they, they're very, very sensitive to ratio. So the ratio has to be exactly. So if you've already got part A in your pigment mixed in, then I um, don't know how it's going to affect the part B and how it's going to affect uh, the actual curing. So I wouldn't wouldn't be risking that because you, as you can see, it's it's easy enough just to just to do this, mix it in and use it as you go. Okay, we're ready to go and I am ready to stand up so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I know where these things are going to go, so all I'm going to do is just move them. I've decided to not put the, oh, this one's a bit sticky now, not, not use the pearls this way. I'm going to use them the other way and then put the pearl inside because I'm worried about this pearl. You've seen how easy it was for it to come off. Uh, I had to kind of think about that and this was two. Okay, so I just have to remember where everything goes. Okay, let's get started. Might start with this gorgeous mauve first. And just um, pour it kind of. Actually, I'm going to use a bigger stick. Uh, I might even use a pipette. And just follow, ooh, it's leaking. Follow this line and try not to mess up my pearls. Not making perfect lines, I'm just just going with it. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's got a gorgeous little shimmer. I'm gonna move these two now, I think I pop them down there. I'm going to go inside this one, like so. And I might go actually on the inside of this one as well. It's not as big. Get from here. Just gonna add more. Oh, this is gorgeous, this mauve. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it. Just try not to drown these pearls. So I'm thinking probably would have been a better idea to actually do the pearls afterwards when which is another way that you can do it when the resin starts to set a little bit then you add some getting through it oh no so I'm just pushing that a little bit just up to those pearls and down here very carefully not to Try not to mess it up too much. Just making sure I'm on, yes. I'm gonna bring this all the way up to the, the edge. Oops, see that one moved? You should lock it in once it starts to set. Okay. Beautiful. That's that for that. Okay. Now let's go with this lovely, lovely champagne colour, which I love. You could just go like so. You could pour it. And look at that. Once it starts to to merge with with the other other colour, it just um, blends in beautifully. Oh, it's gorgeous! This 
Oops. Very therapeutic, this. Because you're just letting it happen. You're just following whatever it's telling you to do. And uh, it's lovely to do art that way. There's no expectations. Whatever it is, is. Just go in a little bit with this just to make it a little bit different than the other one and when these colors kind of mix together they look just brilliant and I might just go a little bit more with this one over here So what I might do is I might just help it out a little bit right here. So this beautiful mauve and this champagne colour just merging together, just creating magic. Okay. So it looks like you're using more more than these colours. Just helping this move a bit and I will torch it in a minute. You can't get these sort of effects with acrylic paints or with oil paints. You do you need this um it's a it's a special special powders, you know, that uh you know, you can get powders anywhere really. Um, you get the shimmery ones, you get the luster ones, they are really, really cool. But you can't get this with paints or some pastes unless they're metallic. I'm just going to merge these two together and make it look super cool, like so. Now, my brown. I'm a little bit nervous about this one now. Let's, let's see what happens. Brown is, uh, and this one is quite old. So it's more like a, a coffee, really. This way. So I've got quite a bit of this. I can add there, help those kind of merge together, push this one out of the way. And I still have that gold left. When you do this with the clear and then swirl your actual pigment over it just creates this wonderful dimension um, it's a, an interesting thing to do blending those together a little bit and of course you can just pour you know but I like to, to play and create these little swirls and things which eventually do uh, they they you know they move and as they're merging they create their own thing but uh, I I do like to help it out a little bit bet you haven't seen anyone do that <laughs> I'm stealing from in there I do have some left so I could use it I think I need some more in here. 
like so. Oops. I have a bit too much there. Try not to drip on my pearls as I go, but definitely have too much of it there. And it's going to drown my pearls. So. Okay. Gonna um, actually use my heat gun. Low setting. You can use um, a hair dryer, but I wouldn't dare use it on here because it would just blow all over the place, and I don't want that to happen. Okay, so we've got some there. Actually, a little bit more over here. Like so. And we put some more of this clear. I left some of this clear because I thought maybe I will need another contrasting colour. Um, but I don't think I will because this gold should do the trick. Now, like I said, if you want to have a, a, a clear line, a perfect line, then don't do these swirls. Do it your way. Um, like I said, I like to do these things. Just adds so much character and dimension to the, the piece. And they will, pigments will move and change and merge some more, so there's no problem. Looking quite elegant. I'm wiping my finger on my alcohol wipe as I go to make sure that it's clean. Okay, so I've got some of this gold that I want to use. I actually could have even gone without the gold, but I've got it now, so here we go. Just a little bit there. A little bit here just to break that line. Now, I don't want to really follow that too much. I want to add a little bit of, you know, different shapes and patterns. It's probably starting to look a little bit messy now, adding this gold, but don't worry. I never worry about these things. Definitely going to go gold around the pearl. So I have some more of this gorgeous, gorgeous um, champagne colour. Just uh, patching up bits that need some more, right, like on the edge here. And more of this brown. And obviously if I put more of the pigment in there, uh, it would have been much, much stronger. 
so you add as much or as little. I actually quite like that there. It's a little bit light. I'm going to add a little bit of this brown. Like so. Maybe some more here. Just going, just um, adding things now. And I will move things. But this is quite pretty as it is. Um, I've got a tiny little bit of this left and I'm going to add it here just to create a little bit of balance and that's it there's no more of that one left so now when I go around with my heat gun I'll help manage that <laughs> Now if you notice there, I was trying not to get right into the, the actual beads because they are plastic. So you've got to be careful not to melt things and ruin your artwork. That's really cool there. Really, really awesome. Very different for me. That's for sure. Wherever I see these lines that look too deliberate, I like to mix them in a little bit, even like with my finger. And then fix the edges. At the moment, all the, the resin is sitting on top. There's nothing on the sides, which is quite cool. Wow. bit here like so with this brown okay now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit actually I'm gonna see because I don't know if I can actually put the the um just gonna see what that is there my little lid things in there just yet they might move which is uh, not going to be a good thing but I'll give it a go because I've got a little bit of resin left ideally you would wait for it to, to set a little bit and then and then do it I'm just going to use my, my um, airbrush just, just here for a bit The airbrush is really awesome with with resin. You just have to be quick. <laughs> Don't kind of keep it there for too long. Do you like that? How cool is that? That's because it's the gold is seeping through in between these gaps and pulling through the that purple or mauve. Um, yeah, awesome. And this is created some really cool effects right here, just with this, uh, the uh, air, airbrush. So it starts to harden so you kind of got to stop and I'm not happy that this I've lost my gold here so I might just add a little bit more so that gold and and that mauve is just you know just amazing together okay let's see if I can get a fresh pair of gloves so I'm not too sticky. So I'll start here because this was supposed to be just one just there. Like so. 
And then I might just put gold in there. Just a drop of gold. And then my lovely pearl right on top. Careful not to drop it anywhere else. That's why you can't have sticky ends. And then when I press that in, that gold should come around. Okay, well that's not too bad. Where was the other one's going to go? One there. And one here. And then I might just get some of this. Um, yeah, I'll go with the gold. Actually, going to add some more resin to it just to make it to get some extra drop in there and I'll drop in here because you want it to stay inside. And then just grab my bead and pop it in there carefully, just trying not to mess it up. Can swirl it around a little bit to make sure that that gold or that pigment underneath there actually I'm a little bit worried about it moving but we'll see how we go I'm just gonna turn this one around so I can work on this side where am I right there okay so Um, just going to scrape up a little bit more of whatever I've got left here of this brown and maybe add it to a few parts make it more interesting and so what I did was I just added some more clear resin in whatever I left was left of this because um, I think I want to have some more of that this gorgeous mauve just around maybe here it's starting to get pretty thick
just adding some of this resin and just creating a really cool 3D kind of depth because it's um it's already starting to see it's kind of like jelly I'm just dragging it actually but I'll heat it up now be all right sometimes you can add a little bit of um, alcohol then it'll work I tend to push the limit every time You're going to see this effect in a second. I'm going to show you. Just want to make sure that that flattens down. I know that my videos go on for too long and sometimes I try and shorten them, but this is, I'm just doing this from start to finish for you guys, especially for newbies, so you can see exactly what goes on. And uh, step by step is step by step. You know, can't say step by step and then not show it. Just going to tilt a little bit. Not too much. And that's that. That actually hasn't sunk in, which is cool. I actually like the the texture it just looks so organic um, you'll see in a minute so let's see that that's it that's all gone <laughs> whoa wasted resin that's no good okay so I will leave it now I'll I'm gonna bring you down closer so you can see exactly what um, what it looks like from close up okay let's start down here that's that effect with that uh, really thick sticky resin clear resin that falls through and gives it like a cool um, illusion of a bit of dimension that's that really cool effect I can't get the colors right it's not showing it right, it's so annoying. And here's that other one. You can even see a little bubble in there. Um, it just falls straight through there. If I go that way, it might help. The color, yeah, it's um, definitely not showing the right color and um, I'm gonna see if I can turn the light on and then it might show it a bit better Okay, so now that it's gotten really nice and tacky, I decided to add some more little details. All I'm going to do is drop a few of these little pearly um, little pearly pretend pearls. They um they used to be on on like a necklace or something. I got a whole heap from so that's all right there. And I might even drop this little diamond 
in the middle like so and I'm trying to spread them so I don't get my hands all messy okay so that's that's gonna um, resin's gonna grab it and glue it in there so that ended up turn, turning into like a little flower as well and um, I'm gonna get a couple of these See if I can take it off. Oh, that hurt. Just taking this little diamond diamante out of here. Hopefully, it'll come out. Well, this has been glued on as well. No. And I just want to drop it right here. just to give it something extra because I looked at it and I thought it just looks too pearly like there's too many of these pearls there so I thought I would just um, I was going to add some crushed glass to it which probably would look great as well but and now I'm going to drop the things in there. Meh. I'm going to pop one just here. It sticks beautifully. So I don't want to overpower it, you know. And then you just tap it in very lightly and it'll go straight in. Do its own thing. It's so hard not to just go to town with these, but I'm just looking at best places to to pop them I just do a row of them here since I've got plenty like somebody sprinkled all these diamonds all over the place and they're scattered here and there Right there. Okay. Oh, I think that's it now. 